Birmingham, Alabama. We arrived in midday, in the heat of the day. Slavery was once rampant in these parts, but the Christians, people like Wilberforce, took part in abolishing slavery. Slavery will always be a condition in mankind. The crime is evidenced by the police. I quickly took off the bus to walk the streets of Birmingham, Alabama, and to get a taste of this city. I trudged and I walked by, knowing this is a city riddled with crime, enough crime to make Dr. Martin Luther King weep. For he shared his life, hoping to make freer people that now populate jails, murder one another, gang bangers and drug dealers. It was back on the bus, I am glad I made it because Birmingham, Alabama is full of strife. Maybe I'm being a little too melodramatic, but the bus churned as I adored the southern structure of the architecture, art deco, classic artwork. It is not like the architecture in California, the industrial factory looking hippie inundated structures that pop off across California, the high rise of Birmingham, Alabama, a typical scape in America. Every city has a high, high rise, the financial muscle. As I sat on a bus, I began to think about my trip to Memphis. I had never been to Memphis and the shrine of St. Martin de Porres. It's where I was headed. I had no plans. My plan was the divine help who crafted the earth. Look at how beautiful it is outside. And somebody has the nerve to say there is no God. That that out there is just a mishap. Look at those trees. How many times do things in your life happen because of a mishap, a random poof car, poof house, poof bill paid, poof money. You have to work. You know why you work? Because God worked and you need rest. You know why? Because God rested on the seventh day. The apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. A seagull cannot give birth to a stone. A goat cannot give birth to a lion. A human being cannot give birth to a giant squid or swordfish. Same it is. The Bible Belt. There is not too much Catholicism in these parts. I looked outside the bus and I was inundated with the beauty. I keep repeating this because that's why I like sitting by the window. See the contrast of the trees, the blue skies, the lofty hills, the valleys, the gently inundating hillscapes, the green grass. The puffed up cloudy skies is all beautiful for me. I begin to think of my journey to Memphis, to the shrine of St. Martin de Porres. Martin de Porres was a Dominican saint, OP, order of preachers, and he was the descendant of a slave and a white man, appropriate for the topics we have been talking about when it comes to Birmingham. He was from South America. And what happened was he went into the monastery and they used to make fun of him. He was treated bad, but he prayed through it all. It is said that the people who Martin Luther King fought for are now in a worse situation by drugs, poverty, unemployment, crime. It is sad indeed. But the bus churned. It's another city, another state. Sometimes I wished I lived in the woods in perpetual silence. We were going to arrive shortly in Tupelo, Mississippi, home to Elvis Presley. He was great in his days and time, but like every earthly thing, he passed away. In his day, he filled stadiums, but he is not worth more than dust, for it is appointed unto all men to die. But the word of God endures forever. The flower fades, the grass withers, but the word of God endures forever. I'm pretty sure if you went around this day blasting Elvis Presley and claiming Elvis Presley is the greatest and living your life like Elvis Presley, you'll be considered fringe, a performer, 
a lunatic, but it's not the same for Jesus. And Jesus has 2000 years of history. It is not the same for the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is 2000 years of history. I am rambling. Tupelo, Mississippi, we arrived. Mississippi. Mississippi. We continued on as the bus smoked and puffed and huffed as the two-stroke engine pumped energy into the wheels, kinetic energy. We continued our journey, watching how America has been blessed. I arrived in Memphis. I was nervous. This is a crime-infested city, just like Birmingham, infested with mobs of crimes that, I don't know. I just prayed to God saying, Lord, it is dark. It is night, Lord, you see I don't. And I pray that you protect me from whatever awaits me. I knew not where I was going, but Abraham knew not where, was, where he was going. And my suspicions were confirmed. As I walked into the gas station, there was a robbery procedure. If somebody is armed, just give them the money, it said. And I began to walk around Memphis looking for a place to sleep. Rosary in hand, praying. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 